The Knitter's Book of Finishing Techniques by Nancy M. Wiseman. Oh, I love this book. <laughs> As a more intermediate knitter or an advanced knitter, uh, we you learn as you go, maybe not so much for beginner, but you learn as you go that it's all in the finishing that makes your project look great. You can knit it up wonderfully, but unless you seam it together well, start it with the right cast on, end it with the right cast off, um, how to make buttonholes look good, uh, it can look sloppy after all of your hard work. So as you develop in your in your knitting, um, this, well, I was looking for a book that just talked about finishing and I was very pleased with this purchase. Uh, so this one again also has good illustration. The negative to it is um, there's a lot of text that uh, goes into describe and if you're a visual learner that's a bit of a of a negative but if you're like me where y you like to read a little bit of research about it um, it's it's valuable what I like are the contents that are covered in this book um, and then the comparative work that is done to talk about like in each of the cast-ons um, she does a comparison about what are the pros and cons of each of the types of cast-on. I mean there's more than this obviously those of us that knit know there's <laughs> so many types of cast-ons but these are some of the basics and it's like when would you choose to use a cable cast-on versus a long tail cast-on. Um, so I'll just take you to that little section here for example. Um, so there's the long tail cast on and um, yeah and and it does indicate well these are the benefits of doing this particular method and here's the part about this particular cast on these are the negatives of of the cast on and particularly this one cast on if you're doing stock in it your work does not fly lie flat like so she so she clearly analyzes and very well analyzes um, when you should or shouldn't these are things you could consider about why you would do the long tail cast on and then she does go in and she describes how to do each method the illustrations are pretty good um, the text can be a little overwhelming but I still find this a, an incredible resource and I am referring to this one fairly frequently. I don't consider myself an advanced knitter. Some people say I am, but I, I just consider myself a, maybe an advanced intermediate level, but I, but I enjoy it, um, especially salvage. Uh, this can certainly help you when you're knitting as you gain experience the different there's many more techniques than this, but she does go into good analysis on to, uh, to each of them, picking up stitches, borders, finishing buttonholes, and then weaving in ends, just uh, kind of, she says, odds and ends. I, I, ref I am referring to this book constantly. I do want to show you, for example, this is one of my favorite ways of binding off for shoulders, the three needle bind off. So, um, and it does describe how to do it uh, and it lists the benefits and the negatives. So why would you do that versus doing um, the Kitchener stitch seam? So again, there's the benefits and the drawbacks. You can make your decision about which you want to do and then there is an explanation of how to do it. So in terms of the explanation, it's good and, and the pictures are good. Um, it's a bit text heavy, but it's, it's good. But where this book really shines is in the comparison of why would you choose to do this or why wouldn't you? And if, if you do learn by reading as opposed to watching, then this this also is a, is a good method. So um, in spite of all of that, I, I do, not in spite of, I mean, I do really um, enjoy this book by Nancy Wiseman.